What's going on everybody? My name is CJ, aka CJink, and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to do just a quick little video showing how to use Waves plugins inside of FL Studio. So first off, if you haven't already, go ahead and download Waves Central. It's kind of like the launcher slash installer for Waves plugins. I'll leave the link for that down below. So what you'll do, of course, just hit Windows or Mac, whatever, hit install right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel because I've already got it installed. Next up, you'll go ahead and open it. It'll probably ask you to sign in. It make, might take some time uh, opening up your first time you ever use it. But after that, you should be good. Now, I've got some of my plugins that I've got right here, of course. Um, you might only have one or two, or you might have way more than I have. So um, depending on your version of plugins that you've got, like I said, if you get it more recently, you'll probably have these V13 or V14s. I've had some of these a, a while, so I've still got the version 11 and I don't feel like paying to upgrade them. What you wanna do is make sure, I've just got FL open just for the sake of this video, but make sure you don't have any DAW open and it'll, it'll tell you to close or make you close. So what you wanna do is come over here to the install products tab you'll click this little checkbox right here to select all of them it will take a little bit of time depending on how many you've got to do that but hopefully it shouldn't take too too long so if you're installing for the first time it should say install and activate right here mine doesn't because i've already got everything activated however if it doesn't end up activating you can go over here to the license tab and it should say whatever your license license that you have not used is over here in the license cloud for me this is my computer i've got of course right now and it's got everything licensed to it right now so if you don't have anything in your license cloud but you've got it under connected devices that is probably why so after you install everything feel free to go ahead and close wave central open up fl and come over here to options and hit manage plugins now I've got all kinds of plugins. I don't use half of them, but they're gonna be here on the list anyways. So as you can see right here, there's this kind of like these texts right here that's in orange or yellow, whatever you wanna call it. I have to go to your program files and find your waves folder. All you have to do is just select that, just leave it as the waves folder and then hit select folder and it'll come up right there. And then what I would go ahead and do just the first time you scan it is hit rescan ver previously verified plugins and make sure verified plugins and then hit find install. So after it finished scanning all the plugins under this directory, you can it should go ahead and show you them all right here. But I just went ahead and searched here so you can see mine. It's a little confusing at first because the way Waves installs, it installs if you have the VST and the VST3 versions, it's got both of those as well as a mono and stereo version. Now that can be helpful in some cases if you want to use a mono sound on certain stuff, but I'm just I just usually always use the stereo versions of every plugin. So I've just went through and favorited every single stereo version of the plugin. If you've got combined uh, VST and VST3, you should be fine with just using the one that's called VST3 plus VST. But just for the sake of it, I think one time I ran it and favorited one and then went back and favorited them both just to have. After you go ahead and have everything set up, you should be in good condition to just go ahead and close this out. And then if let's say you've got waves tune auto tune, all you have to do is just click on whatever makes your track you want it on, select your insert and then add it here in the bottom. And if everything installed correctly, it should come up with no issues. Alrighty, so hopefully this has been a help to you to get your Waves plugins into FL Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram or leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you. And yeah, if you enjoyed this short little guide, please let me know down below. Please like and subscribe. I'll give me some ideas on what to use and how to use in FL Studio. And yeah, my name is CJ, aka CJ. Thanks for watching and God bless.